up guys welcome back to the channel uh, i got another one for you on the tractor here today as i showed you on the last one we were having trouble with the fuel shut off right here it was uh oh guess we got a uh, little extra guest in the tractor wow already got a nest built in there holy crap oh no man oh that's bad crap man i don't want to kill it ah look at that she's got sticks and everything this thing's set for like just a few days and she's built a nest and laid an egg in there man all right so anyway we had trouble with this fuel shut off it wasn't letting uh, enough gas out of the tank it was clogged up so i took that off and cleaned it got it working got it started as you saw drove it a little bit but it only wants to run good when the choke is pulled out so um that's obviously not right so i wanted to fix it to where it works properly so i went ahead and pulled the carburetor off um it should be right under here this is the intake it's funny on these the intake manifold and exhaust manifold is all cast as one piece which I guess back then they didn't worry too much about uh, cooling the intake charge temps but um, that's kind of funny nowadays but uh, anyway so got the carburetor off got it tore apart um, I'll show you here on the bench Looks so funny not having the Honda in here now. There's so much room. So here's the carburetor all tore apart. Um, mostly what I found is just all this green stuff all over everything. See down in the bowls, all that green stuff. Um, the needle, this is the main. It's all covered with gunk, but... Um, also found uh, there is a screen right here on the fitting where the fuel line comes into the bowl. There's a screen there. It was clear though. There was nothing really in it. I did open up the uh, opening on it a little bit. It was kind of shellacked up. So what I want to do is going to take my uh, carb cleaner, clean all this out, make sure I get the jets. Um, there's the thing that goes on the float. So that guy, the way that works, I don't know if you guys know much about carburetors or not, but the way this works is this little guy goes down in here. So the fitting, oh, I put it under there. The fitting where the gas comes in from the tank goes in here. This is upside down. It normally sits the other way. This is the float. So it sits in here on these pivots. Sorry. This is the float. It sits in here on that. There's a pin right here's the pin that goes through that. And like I said, this is upside down. So what happens is this literally floats in the gasoline inside of this bowl. And when it when it, what that does is it regulates how much fuel is in the bowl so as the fuel drops lower this float goes down which lets this little needle valve come out which allows more fuel to come out of that hole which is coming in from the tank there so the float is what controls how much gas is actually in the bowl and then this uh this high speed needle goes through the through the outside here but it comes down in here and there's a little uh, jet down on the bottom of that, or a seat for that valve, I should say. So when we adjust this, that adjusts how much fuel can actually flow into the carburetor itself. So it goes through that passage, and then out of this guy, which is right in the center of the carburetor, the Venturi. It's actually plastic, which is interesting for being so old. Um, it, maybe it's a replacement. Maybe the originals were brass or something. I don't know, but... Um, so that, that obviously screws down in there a lot farther, but, um, the air comes in here, goes up through there, sucks the gas out of that as it goes and takes it up into the engine. 
So I'm just going to take the uh, carb cleaner and clean all this out. I just got some new gaskets for it. There's the new gaskets. Looks like a match. Then the other gasket there is for the where the carburetor bolts to the intake, but the one that is on there stuck to the intake and it's in good shape, so I'm not gonna mess with it. So yeah, we should be ready to go. I'm just gonna clean this guy up, get it put back on the tractor, and hopefully that'll fix the problems and she'll run like a top again. So that'll do it for the top part here. I put the Venturi back in, put the uh, the float and seat back in. As you saw, I cleaned it all up a little bit. I got most of the green stuff off of it. So that's going to be it for the top piece. I'm going to set that aside. And uh, we'll get started on the bottom now. So I'm just going to clean out this bowl and those couple of jets and these couple parts that go in it and we'll put it all back together. guys as you saw I got the carburetor all cleaned up and put back together it's ready to bolt back onto the tractor I am going to while well, before I bolt it back on um, or before I hook it up at least open the fuel shut off and let it run into this bottle and just kind of get a gauge of how much is actually flowing I'm still suspicious that there's not enough gas flowing out of that thing so I just want to check it out and see what kind of flow we're getting um, other than that, we're ready to fire it up, I guess, um, other than the bird nest. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. But from the tractor standpoint, we're pretty much ready to go. Alright guys, let's see how much fuel we're actually getting out of this thing. Eh, there it comes. Started off slow, but it's a pretty steady stream there. That's about all we can expect. That's about the diameter of the tube that's coming out. Alright guys, the carb's back on. Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and try to start it. I feel bad with the bird nest being there, but uh, I don't know what else to do, so I'm not going to drive it. I'm just going to try to start it.
Glad you put the birdie. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.